Amen. It's been, you know, the beginning of your book, and there it is, Deuteronomy. Amen. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Go to the 29th verse after you get to the first chapter. Amen. There's a few verses, the 29th to the 31st verse, it says, Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Say before your eyes. Before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where thou hast seen how that the Lord thy God bare thee as a man doeth bear his son in all the way that ye went until ye come into this place. I'm going to start right there. It says in my title, I will not stay stuck in this place. Repeat after me. I will not stay stuck in this place. I will not, not stay stuck in this place. Let us pray. Our Father God, we thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We won't be stuck in this place. But, Heavenly Father, the place that you have for us to be, the place is not only physical, but it's spiritual. There's a place beyond this place, but there's a position beyond this place that makes it another place in your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I will not. I will not stay stuck in this place. I don't care what, other, what place you are in. If there is a place in life that you are in and maybe you are in a situation now and, and we call that a place. Yes. You know, I don't care if you, uh, you know, maybe you want a new home and you in a place that you don't want to be. You stuck. You feel like you stuck. I want you to get in this mode sometime. I will not stay stuck in this place. Whether you want to get higher in the Lord, you want to get stronger in His will. If you want to be a better person and you want to know more and get knowledgeable about the Word of God, don't stay stuck in, in a place that you can't get out. God said you can get out. He, he, he's there to lead you and give you instructions. Well, Moses, in this text, Moses spoke to God a lot. And a lot of times he went before God, Brother Watford. He, he said, these are your people. God said, no, this is your people. Because he had a battle with God sometimes because he had to deal with certain things. And being a leader of God and even being a pastor, there are different kinds of people that you're dealing with. Everybody in here are, is different. We have different attitudes. We have different ways that, of thinking. And all of us think differently. And he had to deal with a high uh, uh, multitude of people that came from different categories. It was a mixed generation. Yes. 
Amen. You remember when they came out of Egypt and said that they were mixed. You had all kinds of people. And people fight nowadays about being together and working together. But God had a mixed generation during that time. Moses spoke unto all Israel on the side of Jordan and in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea. And I want you to know this message is the message for the people that, that are going and listening to instructions that God is telling and giving us to give you sometime. Uh, 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 in this church, uh, my wife gives message and I give message, but Moses was given a message to the people from God. And I want you to know that that things is not what you hear sometimes. Many of you have gone through the wilderness of life. Many of you are going through stuff now that I don't know about. And you, 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 you come to the church and you, you, sometimes you got to look straight. And I, I know that you're going through stuff. But I come by to tell you, you don't have to be stuck come on. Amen. in that place. Oh, somebody repeat after me. I don't want to stay stuck in that place. You don't, you don't have to be stuck in that place. I come out and tell you that God's word is true. And Satan is a liar. I will not stay stuck. In this place. I'm, I, I will not. I, I don't have to even stay in this building. God can bless us with one of the biggest buildings that you have ever seen. I refuse to be stuck. You don't have to be stuck in where you are. I, you don't have to be stuck in the same house. You don't have to be stuck with the same car. Only reason that you're stuck because you said, Lord, uh, 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 I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. But God is saying this morning, you don't have to be stuck. Well, this message is for the people this morning that's going to listen to instructions that God is telling us to give you this morning. That's the message title that he given me. I will not stay. See, you stay sometimes because you want to stay. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's right. See, that's why I say stay stuck because it's up to you. What you want to do in life sometimes. Sometimes, see, see, we got so much unbelief. We got so many instructions from God telling us what we can do, and we are thinking what we can't do. I come by to tell you, I, I, I don't believe in can't. I believe that I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthened me. All I need is a little more strength yes, Lord. Right. to move on Amen. Amen. and to Amen. go and to do. Uh -huh. And we just move on. And many of you have gone through the wilderness of life at one time or another. You, 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 you heard the goodness of God and and God was telling you some things. And, and, and a lot of us, when we were young, God was talking to us. All of us have, have went through this. All of us have been through this. And, and, and we just do what we want to do, didn't we? Yes, we did. Amen. See, see, I don't know about y'all. I did what I want to do. I, I, I started doing what I want. You, sometimes, right now, you do what you want to do. God is telling you something, and you're trying to do what you want to do. I come by to tell you, listen to God. God is giving us instructions time after time, and we heard 
the goodness and the word of God and, and we just did what we want to do. And, and, and some people even, I noticed on, 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 on social media, some people come on and I see about 10 people come up there. And then when I start talking about the Lord, they disappear. And some people feel like I'm not worthy to tell them about God. And you don't have this schooling and you don't have that schooling. I come out to tell you, God dropped some stuff in me before I even came to the ministry, before God called me. And I was wondering what's wrong with me myself that I didn't fit in with the crowd. Or you ever felt like you don't fit in? You ever felt like you, you different from everybody else? I come back to tell you, God do have a purpose for you. But you just need to follow him and stop following what you think and what you feel. See, some of us got that I feelology. That we want to go on what we feel and what we think and you assuming stuff. And, and, and so, you ever had somebody come to you and they can tell you what you are and what you thinking and you said, that's not me. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not me. I don't know about you, but, but, but some people assume that all preacher is crooked and all preachers are crooks and they, they scammers and all kinds of stuff. I come out to tell you that God is showing some people another the way yes. 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 no one no one no wonder nobody don't want to follow you because because I had a, I, I, Anthony was with me this morning I had a bunch of guys around talking this morning when I when I picked up Anthony I, and they was talking and they they was all right when we were just talking about average things but when I started talking about being able to do and operate. They say, yeah, yeah, but God and Lord, Lord, you know how some people preach when they come around here? But I said, be doers of the word, not just hearers only. They scatter, they start walking the way then. Because see, when you start saying being doers of the word and not just hearers only, then people start walking the way when you start doing what God say do. Love one another as, 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 as Christ loved the church and gave his life. I said, y'all need to be giving your life for each other, not keep killing each other and taking life from each other. Wow. People walk away from you when you truly get in the word of God and the truth. They, they walk away from you then. Yeah, people walk away from you when you start really preaching and you start bringing the word for truth. That they can preach the word. I know God is, he's able. He said, hold on to his unchanged hand. But what are you doing? Are you really holding on to his hand? Are you really going on where he say go? Are you lying like, like everybody else lying? And that's what he said in his word. And see, I used to want the preacher to preach to me like this. Well, have you ever felt like what is the use of working hard in life? And I, I was looking at the news, bro, Cooper, the other day. They was talking about raising the, 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 the minimum wage. And I, I was thinking in my mind, what the use of raising the minimum wage, then you're going to raise everything else. Right. You're going, I was making, what, if I was making $29 an hour, now you're going to give me $40 an hour, but you're going to raise the box of cereal to $10. Say it ain't so. Yes, Lord. You're going to raise the escrow in the house payment, you're going to go up $200. And you, you, you go here and, 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 and gas them went up. And, and then what, what, what do you say having to raise? Well, you going we going to give me a raise just to give you more. And, 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 and I got to pay more and, and, and more, more, more. Everybody more, more, more. And, and, and let me let me get a, a few items here. The electric bill due. 
it's gone up. The mortgage and the rent is due. With the escrow, it's going up. Oh yeah, I got the minimum wage uh, uh, thing. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Should I be excited because I get a little extra and you want to take the extra? I'm going to get my groceries in. The groceries going up. You go in, you find out just iced tea and everything else that going up because somebody found out that you got a raise. Amen. Somebody found out that Uncle Sam done bless you. Now Sam going to come get his. Come get it. Come, come get it. It's his. And, and see, 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 everything gets higher. And they talking about raising the minimum wage, but things are getting higher and higher and higher. Everybody want more. Every, everybody start turning into greed and, and, and people start doing all kinds of stuff because the word of God is telling us we, we, we got to get away from all this stuff. I, I say if we can solve this thing, we need to go back to what it costs in the 50s. Wow. <laughs> then I can really deal with, with, with my, my income and I can really deal with my house payment. All you got to do is come down to like you had it in the 50s and I know that everything's going to be all right. Oh, we can't do that. You're not going to have car payments like that no more. I remember the last time that I bought a car, the man said, oh, we don't have car payments like that no more. They looking for you to pay more so they can figure out how to get more. They got this package and the gold package and the, and the, the red package. They, you go buy a car, they got all kinds of packages for you when you come in. They got the, the green package and we can do, we can summonize your car. And we, can, we, can, we can clean it this way and all you got to do is come in for all your oil changes and we going to give you this. You ain't gave me nothing. Hey. <laughs> we got to we got a warranty to come with this package. And we got an extended warranty for this package. And, and, and you said, what in the world is going on? And I was wondering, Lord, what's going on? Well, let's go to the text, if y'all don't blame me. Moses. Moses, Moses, you remember... The, the man that they used to haul about Moses. Moses the deliverer. Moses. When Moses came in and came in and started working for the people, the people was blessed with a leader. And, and see, most of all, when people get leaders, they don't they don't understand the details that the leader is telling them. But if, if he's getting good instructions and Moses was getting good instructions from God and he was receiving information from God. And I was looking at the chapter and I said, well, I'm not going to go in and all the places that they got. Well, they had went around for 40 Years and some more months. And I say it was a, a, almost another year. They went around and God was taking them in the deserts and they were going around. And, and I said, God, where are you taking them? He said, I'm trying to prepare my people. For the promised land. See, see, that's why God having us preach like this. We're trying to prepare you for the promised land. Amen. I received it. I received it. God is. He's putting things in order. He's he putting things in place. Well, Moses had got instruction from God. He had, he had already sent the 12 spies into the land and they were bringing back big grapes. Y'all remember when Caleb and, 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 and these, these, these spies had went out and spied the land and look at the land and, and they went to the, 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 the promised land and they brought stuff back. 
big grapes and all kinds of stuff they were bringing back and, and they was talking about there are giants in the land. We can see everything but what God told us. God said, I want you to go in and possess the land. I want you to go in. See, when God tells us to do something, don't find all these excuses. Oh, they giants and we uh, we like hopper grasses to them. And they, 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 we little, we, uh, they, that's a big man. I'm, I'm not going to try to fight him. And God said, don't worry about it. I got you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Believe me, God have you. I don't have to struggle so much that God say it's going to be. I don't have to prove myself that I can preach it. I don't have to prove myself that I'm a pastor to anybody. I don't have to prove myself and keep proving myself on the job and that I can do this and do that. I didn't try to prove. Some people used to tell me, you ain't showed me anything. But when I went up there and finished the stuff, I didn't know you could do that. Have anybody ever told you I didn't know you could do that? I didn't know that you could do that. You ever seen them do that people? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't know. Them do that people. They. I didn't know you was that smart. I didn't. I didn't know you had that capabilities. I, I didn't know that you could. You know, and they, they get real articulate with you sometimes. Oh, you're a pastor? Where did you get your, you know, your calling? Who called you? I said, God. I knew that, but, 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 but who called? Who, what, what, what church do you go to? Who's your pastor? And where you come? I said, I am the pastor. What church? You, what? God says, stand still <laughs> and know that I am God. Sometimes you just got to stand still and let the people talk. And I ain't seen your potential. I ain't seen. Don't worry about it. God called you. God will make you. God will change you around. My God is a great God. Y'all sing about that this morning. He is a great God. Yes, God can do great things. Well, they had already received information on what was going on in the land. And people get scared to death when they go up against something. Sister Duke. Yes, Lord. When they call you to that position, don't be scared. Just get all the information you could possibly get. See, God gave them all kinds of information. See, see, Moses didn't have to go nowhere but to God. Just think about Moses. Moses went and prayed to God and talked to God. God said, do this, and he did that. But only thing about it, he got hard-headed before he went to the promised land because he never went to the promised land. He wasn't promised to go to the promised land because God told him, you won't going to go because you was hard headed. He told him to do to raise his rod. Y'all remember? And they're going to get water in the wilderness and they're going to do all kinds of things. You know that? He said, must I fed, fetch you water? And he smite the rock. With his, with his cane. And God didn't say smack the water. But he let water come out the rock anyway. God will fix you anyway. He look out for babies and fools. And he look out for crazy folk. He look out for you. But they didn't, he didn't go to the promised land. But he told him. This is what you're going to do. He told Moses. Tell the people. Tell the people. Remind the people. All this stuff I did before your eyes. Have God ever did anything before your eyes and you thought it was luck? Yes. Yes, Lord. You thought it was luck. You thought I, I just got lucky. Yes, Lord. Yes. You thought. That I was 
in the right place at the right time. No, God had the time and put you in the right place. I come back to tell you that God has something for everybody in here if you just listen. Listen to what he had to say. Well, he talked to the people and they was on the other side of the plane of the, of the, uh, uh, the, the what was it, the, the Red Sea. And, 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 and see, some of them was placed in different places. See, what, what God did while they was going around the, in the wilderness, he multiplied them. See, God can multiply your situation. He can make it look like there's a whole lot of y'all in this church. He can make it look like that, 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 that your enemy be scared of you. See, a lot of time when you come into place and you say, I'm going to church, everybody falls out like dead men. <laughs> All you got to do is tell them what thus say the Lord. They fall out like dead men. But I come back to tell you, if you listen to what God said, he said, Moses, you're not going to go to the promised land. But I want you to put everybody in place. I want you to talk to the chiefs. I want you to talk to the leaders. See, God is getting ready to work on some people around here now to be leaders. See, you, you, you think that you just want to work in the church now. I'm ready to go. And I, are you ready to go? Are you truly ready to go for the Lord? Or are you just trying to go on what you feel? But I come back to tell you, keep listening to God's word. He's putting, he's putting you in place. See, see, it, we got to find a place that God is showing us to be in. You See, you think you were called to, to do this and you were called to shout good. You were, you you thought you was called to dance good. You he might have called you to the nursing ministry. He might have called you to the to the care ministry. He might have called you to be a usher. Yes, Lord. And you just sitting there. You just coming to church day in and day out. <laughs> Not listening to what God is saying to you. God is speaking to everybody here. What to do? When, when Moses, Moses was talking to the people, get the chiefs, get get the chiefs here. I, I I want the elders of the church. I want I want the elders. See, the elders ought to be training the young ones. The elders ought to be talking to the young ones and. And, and, and see, God is showing that he wants him to put stuff in place before they go to the promised land. That's right. If God's going to take you to another level, you got to be ready. You got to have people in place. And, 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 and I tell them all the time. Somebody say, well, what about the deacons in your church? We don't have no deacons. <laughs> you got to you gotta usher them? We don't have no ushers. We got trust. We got two trustees. Amen. Well, you don't have nobody in church. Don't worry about it. Somebody's oh, wow. in the church. <laughs> we have somebody in the church. Yeah. We got a church. Yeah, but God said, "I'm the one that's speaking, and everybody else have to listen." And that's why God is pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. His sons and his daughters shall prophesy. And see, the preachers don't hear that. They're so busy trying to make all the men's preachers. And they ain't thought about my sons and my... He said the last days shall come. Yeah. If you go to Second Joel, it'll tell you that in the last days, my sons and daughters shall prophesy. If God said it, that's what's going to happen. 
Guess what's going to happen? Now we got more women in the church, trustees and deacons that are listening to the word of God. And all the men is like, I got a job. I got this bill. I got to get some money, my boy. I got to make a hustle. I got to. Uh, yeah, God said, I'll take all of it. God say I take it. I don't. I don't care what you got. I don't care what position you got. I take it all. I don't. I take everything. If you get your doctor's degree and they give you a, a CEO job, I'll get you fired. Satan said I got my people out there, and they will take everything. But it said to be weakness in high places. And see, we got to be mindful. What God is saying. Well, Moses, when we go to the promised land, I knew that they dread seeing these people. See, they was worried about the Hittites and the Amorites. All these people that was in the land over here and all these see, don't worry about all these people in your way. I never worried about all these people that's in my way. Because what happened is, they didn't have to fight nobody. No, they didn't. <laughs> Think about it. Go home and read the chapter. They didn't have to fight nobody. God said, I'll fight them for you. I'll move them out of the way. See, they were so scared to see all them people. See, God, sometimes he multiplies people to make it. Think. Oh, Lord, here come the people of God. All these people, I heard what they did. They walked through the Red Sea. I heard what happened. Well, see, when they saw them come through, they got scared. They started running. I'm telling you, they started running out the way. Here come the Israelites. Here come the Hebrews. Y'all better get out the way. I heard what they did. God is behind them. That's why they got out the way. That's why they didn't have to fight. Because some people hung themselves when they saw the, the Israelites come on. Y'all, y'all don't believe what, what God can do to people oh, yes, when, 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 if you really walking in God's word, and you really talking in God's word. You don't believe me. Come around people and they start putting up the liquor bottles and stuff. Amen. Lord, here she comes. She, she, I don't know why she coming here. She, uh, she got the Holy Ghost. I don't know why she's praying so much. I'm scared. You ain't got to do that in the house. We all right. I'm good. I'm good. Until something happened. What y'all doing down there at the church? Did they happen to anybody? Are they, are they giving benefits? Do they have benefits? Because I'm struggling. Well, you was on the golf court on Sunday morning. You was doing this on Sunday morning. But God said, look, listen to me. Moses, get all the people together. Put this one together. Put this in place. And what makes it so, so funny is, I looked in there and they was in all these places they had multiplied so much it was almost like they was in different sections of the county all kinds of stuff that I saw them in and I I was looking I said Lord where is all these people all up there he was saying don't be afraid don't 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 be afraid just walk through there I, I, I take care of all them people. The, the Amorites, they were scared. Of, he said, the Lord our God commanded us. And, 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 and they told you to go do Cadiz and Cater Bar and all them places. They, they, they were trying to fight on the other side of the mountain. No, you don't have to fight them. I'm going to take care of the Amorites. I'm, I'm going to take care of them. Amen. Uh, he took them around and they... They was turning and stuff like this. But they had already got information on what's in the place. God has already, he's already gave us information about the place we're in. God already set us up on where we at, what's coming. I come by to tell y'all, if people are not rooted and grounded in God's word, 
we got a category five again when it comes to the United States. And it's not going to be pleasant because we're going to have all these people fighting against each other. We're going to have whites against blacks and blacks against whites and blacks against blacks and whites against whites and, and, and women against men. And we're going to have all kinds of stuff going on. Is that category five come through here? It's gonna be a mess when the when that category. See y'all know what a category five? Everything get wiped out and stuff. But I tell you what, stand still and watch God fight your back. Watch God start putting you in position and looking out for you and fixing what you have. Watch what God do. You don't have to look to the left. You don't have to look to the right. You don't have to have somebody tell you, don't hang with this person. These people are that. And that person that, they don't have to tell you that. Because if they ain't for God, if, they, if they're not for God, I come back to tell you, if they're not for God, they're going to be stuck oh, yeah. in a place. Yeah. And we don't have to be. I will not be stuck. I will not. I will not. Stand on your feet and say, I will not. Just say, I will, I will not. I will not. I don't hear you. Say it like you got faith. I will not. I will not. Stay stuck in this place. Amen. He calling you. Yes, he is. I'm a witness. He calling you. Ain't nobody else to do the job. He's calling you. I don't have to worry about going back to work. <laughs> they calling. They need somebody. You don't have to be stuck. Because God is calling each one of us to be leaders in Christ Jesus. Walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit Amen. of God. Yes, the only reason we stuck, because we fighting against ourselves. Yes, yes. We got some stuff going on here. That's why you got to let it go. Because somebody said, because somebody did, we holding on to stuff. And we don't have to be stuck in that place. I don't have to worry about it. I learned a long time ago. Family. The, the thing that's going to hit you first is your family. They're going to tell you you, you, ain't, you don't have no sense. They're going to tell you who do you think you is. You got a big head. Oh, oh, you doing good now, huh? You don't want to talk to me. The whole time you've been trying to, God is the way and the truth and the life. No man, you, you've been telling them the whole time. But I want you to lift your head up. In your own mind. I will not be stuck. Stay stuck. I'm thankful I Stay stuck. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Oh, I will not. Stay stuck. In this place. God is telling you that this morning. I, you should have the frame of mind. I will not. That don't, that don't apply for me. <laughs> Somebody said. You're not going to be able to make it. That, that, that don't apply to me. That apply to you. You're not, you're not going to be able to do that. That's, you're not going to be able to do that. Huh? 
They took me a many a day. We never did that in this place. Wow. But that don't apply to me. That's right. That's right. I don't see how you did that. I'm not stuck in doing the same thing over and over and messing up over and over. God said, I got a different way to you. That's why he said, you don't fit in. Because you think differently. Your father is not their father. Your direction is not their direction. Your God is not their God. Yes. And when you stand up and you laugh because you know better. Because the word yeah. said it yeah. in here. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Yes. They put their cards before. You know what happened when they put their cards before? God tear it up. Huh? If you don't believe me, go to some of these places where the hurricane that tore up somebody's house that they thought they had the best house in the neighborhood. And send a hurricane through there or send uh, all kinds of volcanoes through there. And you know what they say? I, I thought we was in a good place. I don't know what happened, but God, I tell you, I don't know. And I said, well, just, 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 just look at God. That's what you got to do. Look at God, y'all. You know when you see that God that come through there? When the wind come through there? When the fire come through there? And when the flood come through there? You know what happened? He just lift his hand. Somebody said, we can't put that on God when you didn't let nobody live there. You, you didn't get along with nobody. There you go. There you go. Huh? Yes. I remember they got on, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 the one that just died, the evangelist. Uh, Stanley? No, the one out here in Virginia Beach. I forgot. Okay. They, 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 he said, the devil come through there and tear up the houses and all that stuff. Ain't nothing but God that lift his hand. Again. They said, he ought not be saying nothing like that. Pat yeah, Pat Robinson. He started saying, you know, certain things. They said, well, he don't need to be talking like that. He was just telling you the truth. Because when God take his hand off, <laughs> when God take his hand off, Satan come to kill steal and destroy yes. Yes. but he said he will preserve you in a time of need he will fix you stand with him is there one come on down there's a place to go where you can go with friends and family Experience love and learn how to live abundantly There's no other church home that I would rather be To find peace, joy, and happiness So this is what I believe That you find real love Real love Real love Real love And the jam Yeah That you find real love